Hi there, I'm Adrian Salisbury and welcome to another video in this Ecamm Live tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna look at how to share your screen. And actually, I've got to tell you what a challenge this can be. So this is all looking lovely and I'm really happy with the layout on my desktop here. Uh, but what about when I wanna share my screen then? And all of a sudden, I wanna bring in a web page, for instance, and I wanna take you through this. I've suddenly lost my window, I'm hiding over the back there. <laughs> um, right, let me show you first of all that, um, let's bring this back a second. When I wanna share my screen, if you remember right at the top here, we've got these different switches. You can go between just the camera feed uh, and then you've got a video file or you've got screen sharing in the middle. So at the minute, you press this once and it comes in, you press it again and uh, then it's telling me which one do I wanna use. Do I want at the minute its entire screen? Uh, it can either be the current application or I wanna say Google Chrome because that's what I'm wanting to feature. So you can see behind what's going on, but as I'm moving this around, it's a bit clunky, isn't it? Um, now, first thing I'm gonna to suggest to you is you probably don't need, you can jig things around a bit on your desktop. We can shrink the size of this, and what happens is you can see on that window behind that depending on whether I'm making this, you know, the shape that I'm making this window, will change in the view there. It will work to the, the format, the 16 by nine shape that we've got on our view. So you can see, you get to a point where you go, all right, that's about the, the biggest view I can get of it. And so it doesn't need to be full screen, it just needs to be in that shape and that format. But let's play this around with this a minute. So if I pull that further down on my screen, what I can do is I can push up this main window so it's smaller to start with. Um, and then all of a sudden I've just got to jig a couple of these uh, tabs around on here and look I've I've now managed to get away with it there's nothing yes there is the sound level we can put that up or out the way you can move these things around it's a total floating window and then I've got this down here so now I can be working on here and uh, I can still see my window at the top now there are a couple of things there's quite a few things actually I want to talk to you about some great features um, You'll notice that behind there at the minute, certainly if I change this view to entire screen, doesn't look very professional because I've got some things laying around on my desktop that I didn't really want people to see. Well, if I go into my settings, which is this cog down here, and uh, screen sharing, at the minute it's defaulted to include desktop icons. Uh, watch these over here disappear when I untick it and then actually the desktop picture itself. Maybe you've got a family photo and you don't really want that there. Uh, I can untick that and it just gives me a black screen. So let's take that away again. Um, I'm gonna stretch this back so that it gives me, oh sorry, it's because I'm on entire window. Let's change this back to Google Chrome. And now when that fits in the window, looks a lot more professional with just the black screen around it. Uh, then, while I'm on this Google Chrome, and this is another way that you can get in down here actually, with this little overlay down here, I can click and I can change around the same down here as I could at the top. The other thing I can do down here is to hit that plus and minus and I can fill the screen and get rid of those edges if I want to. So now if I make the height of this window a little bit bigger, look, I've actually filled now my entire screen when I'm sharing it by using this plus and minus and getting the window in the right shape. Does that make sense? So even though I've stretched it to fill, if this is the wrong shape, then it's gonna leave a border at the sides. If I go the other way, it'll leave a border top and bottom. So you need to just play with that and get it to the right shape to fit the window. Um, what else can I show you? Picture in picture. So at the minute you've got me down here and I can move this around to wherever I want and uh, I can just turn that on or off. So if I don't wanna be in it, I can turn that on or off. Remember that we can use scenes, and uh, I'm not gonna tell you now, you can go and watch the video on scenes, but we can queue up different scenes. So one would be my screen share, one would be me talking, one might be the screen share uh, without the picture in picture. So there's lots of different ways that you can preset it with the scenes. The other thing that I need to say is, when you're in here and you're previewing it, Yes, it means that when I'm down here, I can't see the window behind me. So, you can't tell in preview, but if I actually go live now, so I can go live on Facebook to my profile and uh, only I can see it. So let's have a little go at this. If I go live, what's going to happen is the current window that I'm in, 
you can't really see because of where it's come in, but there is this little floating window down here and I can move it around to wherever I want and I can resize it. This will sit over whatever the current application is or it will sit over the top of anything else. And that down there is a little preview of what is coming through. And I can, it's, I've got a lot packed into this. Not only can I change the size of the thing around, whoops, clicking on the wrong bit. Not only can I change the size of this around, but um, if I'd got those scenes queued up, the different scenes, and I can click on here and jump between them, uh, I can just hit on this at the minute and go between the screen sharing and come back. Um, and I can finish my recording. So the fact that I can't see the actual window behind there doesn't really matter. Um, I could have hidden off these scenes, I could have got rid of all of these bits, and I could actually work. Let's get rid of these other overlays. I can actually work just with this picture in picture, view sitting over the top, and as I'm working down here, over to my side is a little preview of what's happening. Really cool. And I can use that then to just hit finish. If I want to, always just double checks, double checks, and then end the broadcast and it's now taken me back to this. So there you go, there's a few things that you can do when you're screen sharing like that. And all of these great features aren't limited to you using Ecamm going live onto Facebook. Using the virtual cam, you can actually take this out to Zoom and other places as well. And that's the topic of another video. So I wanted to be real with you and just really go through the challenges that you have when you're trying to screen share. I uh, definitely recommend that you move your screen around so that you can get things in. Maybe you wanted notes in there as well. Uh, you know, you could slot that up one bit, you can have your screen share down here, but know that actually when you're going live, you're gonna get that little mini window appear that will sit over the top of anything else, and uh, so you will be able to see the feed. But yeah, that's me being real. They're the challenges of doing this live streaming and sharing your screen. Uh, you really couldn't get better features than what Ecamm have put into this, but I still recommend you have a practice with it, do a Facebook Live to yourself like I just did, get used to it, are you gonna be able to work with it, are you gonna be able to see the comments coming through, you, you know, just check things out, and I would also use scenes and get, get stuff queued up and prepared in advance so you know, right, I want a scene where I'm looking like this, I want a scene where I'm doing my screen share, do I want a picture in picture over it, maybe that's another scene, maybe you wanna share a Chrome window in one of the scenes, maybe in another scene you wanna show a different window or your calendar or diary, I don't know. You can queue all that up in scenes. This is actually exactly the kind of challenge that we're addressing and helping you with inside the Ecamm Academy. If you're interested in that, there's a link below and you can go check it all out. All right, I'll see you in another video.